I, October 28, 2020, Skopje, North Macedonia, day 13 of my 14 day isolation. But there's been a turn of events. Um, just referring to the chat message between me and the, the health uh, department doctor, who's my liaison here. And so, yeah, I was asking about what happens to people who get infected. You know, what, what's the score? You know, in particular, the guy who was, I was in contact with and he had to isolate somewhere. So I'm going to quote here from my, my chat feed, yeah. So, yeah, it's the same for foreigners that it is for the citizens. When someone's tested positive, they have to isolate. For how long? It depends on the clinical manifestation of the disease usually from 10 days for completely asymptomatic cases till 20 days for symptomatic cases. And the surveillance and the follow-up for the positive is inf infected is 14 days counting from the last contact. If in this period the quarantine person does not develop symptoms, it is considered COVID safe or not infected. And... Um, yeah, the, the guy who I was in contact with who tested positive, tested negative yesterday, 27th of October. He tested negative for, for Corona. And she said, I think that you are free to go now. So I asked, was it a, like a false positive or was he positive, you know, like weeks before he actually got tested? And she said, no, and I'm quoting, the infective period has passed and he has no longer has the virus in him so that that's the uh, official word from the doctor who's in charge of the the covid cases here in north macedonia and yeah it seems seem seems strange but then you know like that someone says you're free to go you're free to go and you know and uh i'm going outside into the fog it's a horrible um polluted fog they got record levels of pollution here in uh, Skopje and North Macedonia and Bosnia and you know they but they burn they burn wood for heating and there was also no, no wind here so it's just steel plus there's the river so it's a fog and a mixture of the pollution pollution can't escape and um, yeah it's, it's quite bad plus they got power stations all over the, the former Yugoslavia Republic um, you see them in uh, in Kosovo. They're quite quite big and pumping out a lot of um, smoke, and it smells quite bad here. Even off my balcony, I could smell it. And the guy from the hostel said it gets worse in January when everybody's heating. So yeah, it's uh, probably a good time to get out, huh? Because I can feel it now. It's horrible. Like really, I don't imagine. Can't imagine what it'd be like in um, in January, February. You know, when it's really really cold. So, so yeah, free to go is free to go, and um, I'm somewhat, almost ready. So just gonna go out into the get my stuff ready. Well, packed up, going out in, into the outside wall. First time since Friday evening last week. So mask on. Yeah, so not a good mask. I've got some others. And I've got a, like a, a buff to put over the mask once I'm outside and I need two hands to keep the, to keep the mask in place. I'm wrapped up, it's freezing outside. I'm gonna take my jacket too, just in case. So yeah, here we go, outside world. I did sterilize the, uh, the door handle before I started doing this video. I don't touch anything. So yeah. Oh, not using the lift, going down the stairwell. Don't use confined places. It's a bit dark down here, but uh, sometimes the lights, the light center doesn't work or there's no bulbs. Always, so yeah, go down about five blocks.
never know where I'm going here. Not like it's signposted exit. There we go. Ground floor level. Well, oh, next one. Must be like six or seven blocks up. There we go. The bike storage, ground level. So here. Scopy is outside. Yeah. Have a look at the air, that's not like a bad sunlight, that's haze and dust um, pollution. Hope you can hear this last bit okay, but yeah, I'm going out exploring, putting my jacket on. See you later.